Hello, welcome to DNKS Legacy Productions. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with us. Um, today's video... Mm, today's video is probably going to be fairly short. Um, it concerns a question I had uh, from my last video uh, when I talked about why I used uh, use vmix and the atem mini together and the question was basically since the atem mini sends the atem mini i use actually the atem mini extreme it sends what the vmix software sees as one camera feed to vmix and i was asked well what do you do if you need uh, multiple cameras uh, shown at the same time and today's video is going to answer this question after this quick message from our sponsor, me. <laughs> okay we're back and i want to reach over here and check to make sure i still have audio and i do and to let you say i'm gonna switch to this is a shot of the vmix software um this is desktop capture of the vmix software and as you can see, I have one camera source coming in, and that's the Black Magic Design. Um, that's the A10 Mini. Uh, and I use the. Let me show you. I use the A10 Mini Extreme, and let me show you that. That's the A10 Mini Extreme. I put it in my box. Um, so it's all one unit. So when I get somewhere, I just pull out the box, open it up, and start hooking up the cameras. But as you can see, and actually, I have three cameras hooked up to this right now. But as you can see, right here it only see shows one camera being hooked up now i use the a10 mini to to um switch my cameras and i'll go back to the cameras and this is my x keys i use for controlling the a10 mini extreme this is the x keys i use for controlling uh vmix um the A10 Mini Extreme has super sourcing. And how I get more than one camera in is press this button to super source and two cameras come in. I can do change my views, different cameras, and show them differently. So this is a good thing for doing setups. Um, I can show four cameras. One of them is a black box because I only actually have three cameras hooked up at the moment. So um, it's showing up as a uh, black box. Now, let's go back to here. And I can control through the ATEM software, the artwork. I can control what shows up in the... Uh, background let me switch back right quick uh this background right here i can control from the atem um software let me put this on a different screen so i can show you what is going on and no, I had that the right on the right screen. Now 
I'm going to go in here and change my artwork. And you can see that screen changes. To the different items I put in there. And I'm going to go back to this. It changes the background. So I'll show you what I was doing. By putting this in the screen. Um, I put a different background in my keyer and it shows up differently. And also, I can tell, going into the setting called artwork and tell it where to take the picture from for, um, for the background. In fact, I can use one of the other cameras and see that effect uh oh and you can see that effect i have the the other camera view as my background so now i'm just going to go back and change it back to media player 2 and that background comes back up and stays the same well not stays the same but it's the background that I use um, so let's go back to this super source because this shows the um, this is a picture uh, I have pictures on the buttons of the different um, um, shots that I can show I have uh, one and two, camera one and two, camera one and three, camera one and four, camera one, two, three, and four. Um, one, four speaker, the main speaker, and then the two guests. It, different layouts that I have. Um, this is, this system, I use the X keys with um what is the name of this program with just macros and the just macros design um what do you call it the they were the the super sources that were made by doug johnson productions i use his super sources that paired with just macros and the atem Mini Pro is for other ATEMs, but I use it with the ATEM Mini Pro as well, and it gives me my super sources. So even though VMix is only seeing one camera, my control over the cameras with this device and my ATEM Mini Pro Extreme allows me to have more than one thing um up at a time just like they do in the news broadcast or interview broadcast like you see on the nightly news where they have two people talking um the person in the remote area or beside them you can have the um everybody up on the screen at one time up to four different cameras um you could probably get more if you finagle it and have more than one ATEM Mini Extreme or the, there's other ATEMs that do super sources. Uh, part the Constellation ATEMs do super sources and the more expensive ones. So this is just the entry level that does super sources. The ATEM Mini doesn't do super sources, but you can actually still do um, two people side by side with the ATEM Mini Extreme. No, ATEM Mini um pro uh but you have to use uh picture and picture with that and there's ways to manipulate how the picture and picture looks so that the person shows up side by side so from the atom mini pro up you can have um more than one person 
and a separate shot, separate camera shot, two different camera shots up at the same time. So this is how I do it. Um, but it all goes back to um, I don't want the computer. And I actually have a fairly um, high-end laptop here. It is a gaming laptop, which is what you really need for the, um, this kind of stuff. This is HP Omen. Um, this actually is a, this actually is a couple of years old now. So it's not the most powerful thing out there anymore, but it can handle, it is what you need to handle vMix properly without any hiccups and have a, um, I can hook up several different capture cards and have more than one camera um feed to it but it works much more smoothly with the atem mini pro or atem mini extreme handling the camera switching i find it is more reliable it's less work on vmix and not less work on the atem mini but uh, let me go back to this real quick. How you put the graphics and everything in, let's see. And then I want to go to, this is what I want to do. Okay, how you put the graphics and everything and it is limited to 20 graphics that you could put in and it's actually a little harder to do things this is my bug which i can turn on and off <laughs> do i have it on nope This is my um, bug I can turn on and off. This is a background. You can put 20 different graphics up in here, but with vMix, you can do a thousand. Although I wouldn't recommend having that many on in, in your uh, setup at one time, but you can do a thousand. But um, vMix makes it much easier to set up graphics and do graphics like you you can see i have all kinds of stuff set up in here that is my this is my um this is a stinger this is my bug this is a nut this is actually a spinning bug let me uh hit play I don't know how good you can see that, but that's actually a spinning bug. Um, this is another graphic I have in here. Uh, wait a minute, why is that not going? Hmm. Not sure what the hiccup was with that, but this is another graphic. This is the skyline of Philadelphia. This is my main outro. This is the lower third. It's a different lower third. And a bunch of other things. This is this shot right now. So, as you can see, it is much easier to do my graphics from this than it is to do them from this. Um, so that's why, that's why I use both of them together. I like, and I'm not going to get into it, but making the graphics is a lot easier in vMix. Um, you don't have to, you don't need special software like Photoshop or um, Adobe Illustrator or any other kind of uh, software that does um, transparent PNGs. 
but their soft vmix comes with their own software that automatically does everything and sets it and it lets you set it up exactly the way it is it needs to be done it makes life easier i know how to do it both ways but the vmix software is just much easier to do it with um, vmix so i like vmix for setting up my graphics i run the cameras through the atem and that makes my life a lot easier so um i run through the atem i have all of my controllers here and i have vmix here and for my studio setup it is a nice easy workflow it's i have to keep looking down when i'm doing my own videos but if i'm doing videos for somebody else um you don't get to see me looking down so it doesn't really matter but it makes life a lot easier and that's how you can get more than one camera shot camera angle um up at the same time so i uh, hope this was informative and i'll see you next time oh don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe we can use all the new subscribers we can get thanks for watching bye